Well, hello to you from a city that's always a joy to visit, Vancouver. We're at BC Place for this game. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It is Tottenham Hotspur facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. An encouraging move from Dortmund. Plays it back. Holland, splendid defending. Great pressure to win the ball back. Hazard, can he put it in? And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Fired over by Guerrero. Well, it has come to nothing. And Bellingham able to get a body in the way. And he takes on the shot. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved a goal. Pabier, Romero, Emerson, space afforded him. Opportunity to take the lead, able to clear the danger, at least for now. And we're looking at a player who seems to be at the peak of his powers, Hyung Min Son. In what way might he contribute today, Stuart? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trick. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Well, a brilliantly executed free kick. So near, Stuart. Well, he'll have practiced that time and time again. It's a fantastic bit of technique, but he just can't get it down in time. On and on he goes. Witzel. Well, he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Reguilon. He's got the right idea with that pass. Well, there is a very alert goalkeeper for you. They do pass the ball with authority. Lucas is waiting. Well, he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. And well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Lucas. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside.
Romero. Javier. Promising looking ball. And possibilities here. Very difficult challenge to perform, but he succeeded. Torgan Azar. Axel Witzel regained possession. Well, the counter chance looks very real. They need to get bodies back. Oh, fancy footwork. Song! Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Short corner taken. Davis. Tyre. And Tottenham struggling to keep the ball. And Bellingham. And pull back. Just the clearance that was called for. Meunier, Holland, but I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Javier. Oliver Skip. Well, the pass not coming close to hitting the target. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, he was one of their better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he improves in the second half. Two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Oliver Skip. Kane. Advantage Spurs. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Could be a chance to break here. Good use of advantage for Dortmund. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Skip. Now Son. Well, he could run onto it here. That is a tackle and a half. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Stoppage in play and a chance for the referee to go back and retrospectively hand out a yellow card. It's a short corner. Davis. 
and return to Kane failed to keep hold of it and it's Royce on the run nice ball to switch the point of attack Holland and Bellingham terrific block and a corner to Borussia Dortmund chance perhaps for them to take the lead if they get it right substitution it is for Dortmund number 28 Axel Witzel to be replaced by number 8 Mahmoud Dahoud delivering it attending to his defensive chores on and on he goes Holland could be just missing narrowly on the volley well it's a fantastic effort difficult technique but he caught it so well he's unfortunate and fed forwards Son. Well clattered away. Romero. Eric Dyer. Patient build up at the moment. Oh, showing excellent vision. Pierre cuts it back. Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Onto the pitch, number 28, Tangai Ndombele. Trying to deliver it accurately. Not to be in terms of the finish. Minier into the final 20 minutes. Emre Can and space to cross it. Emre Can and now Dahoud determined defending. On. now Harry Kane could be a chance to break here Davis Reguilon oh, they get the ball once more And Dortmund committed to getting forward. Can they grab a late win? Oh, fine save. And it remains all square. Well, he saved his team there. That's a big moment for the keeper. Well, I thought that was the game. Fantastic work by the keeper just to keep them in this. Well, what a final few minutes we have in store for us here. And these Spurs fans are certainly playing their part. But can they take one of these big chances that come their way? What a finish we could have here. Taking care of business defensively here. 
And just five minutes remaining. Is it going to be? And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. The overall situation doesn't favour Spurs, but they're still in it. Fabier. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Morgan Azar. Dahoud. And there it is, the final whistle. A satisfying outcome for Borussia Dortmund fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Well, Derek, what a good finish to the game that was. They just wore down the opposition, and in the end, they got their reward. That's a really good win for them. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him. He played really well today, and what a big goal that was.